Hey friends, it's Linda. I was just thinking about what I was doing six years ago today. Now, a lot of us really can't remember the exact day and time of what was happening, but for me, this time of year is very significant. Six years ago today, I had just finished up, I think it was round nine of my chemotherapy the day before, and I was feeling really crummy and not really good. The day after chemo is just never really fun. And I remember though, I remember going to the grocery store and buying yellow mums to put in my pots on my porch. I remember buying the yellow mums. And I remember also that it was really, um, really rainy out and I really felt this need that I needed to take my daughter and her friend to the movies. Now probably was not a wise idea because I had just gotten chemo and your immune system system is weakened and all of that but I just it was like I've got to go take them to the movies. So I went and had a girls day even though I was feeling really crummy went to the grocery store got mums and then went and took my daughter out to eat with her friend and went to the movies and then within the next 10 days or so, I ended up in the hospital, and that's where my story really began. Not just the cancer, but really my hospitalization and, and um, my coma and all of that stuff that's in the book. But I'm just amazed to be able to sit here today and say, you know, to be able to sit on this very porch and be able to talk to you and encourage you and inspire you with training to run a half marathon. Um, I'm sorry that I'm <laughs> crying and there's an airplane going by. I didn't realize how many airplanes go by <laughs> in my neighborhood until I started videoing outside. But anyway, <laughs> um, so it's just so special to me that, that I have this blog community and then I have you watching and just you sharing with me your struggles or anything that you're going through and the same here that I can share whatever I'm going through with you and that we can just encourage and inspire one another. So today, I just want today's post to be really about let's just all praise God and and write all the things that we are grateful for. Just write out. So in the comments below, just tell me all the things that you're grateful for. Today, I'm grateful that I have this opportunity to video and talk to you, that I'm training for a half marathon, that I am healthy, that I can breathe on my own, that there's a place in my neck where they said I would have this trach forever and I don't, I can breathe on my own, I can walk on my own without assistance, I have stairs in my house where people were planning on how to, whenever I did heal, that how, how was I going to get into the house and so they were planning to make ramps and all this stuff, it was just it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable just the gift of life and, and our health. And so tell me today what you are grateful for. I love you guys. I'm grateful for each one of you. I'm grateful for this opportunity to share the love of Christ with whoever watches the blog or whoever picks up the book and reads the book. I remember sitting here too in the very beginning of after finding out I was diagnosed with cancer and I was sitting here on this porch and I remember crying to God and saying, God, just give me more time so that I can love people in the world with your love. And that is what I get to do today. So our prayers are answered. Our prayers, God performs miracles and he answers our prayers. So today let's just shout out to God all of our gratitude and cry out to him with any prayer that you have or any concern because he is listening and he will provide. Take care, God bless, and let's say it together. I am worthy. Thank you, Jesus.